Hello everybody, I am Joel Friesen. We are Silver Arrow Cars and I am back with another video and we are back with another listing of a beautiful piece of automotive history, uh, specifically from Mercedes-Benz. We do a lot in Mercedes-Benz. And this car is a 1971 Mercedes-Benz 280 SE cab 3.5. So not an inline six, this is the 3.5 liter V8. Uh, this car specifically, or this model specifically, was only built during 1970 and 1971. Uh, this was originally delivered in Chicago, Illinois, and remained with its original owner uh, with records of service right from 1971. And it looks like from the first entry in a book, just in the, uh, in the new year. Um, stayed with its original owner up until what we figure 2016, 2017, when it was purchased by the second owner, uh, and that is where the car came to us. So originally delivered in the U.S., this is the original U.S. delivery car. I, I believe there was about 803 only that ever came to the United States specifically for this model. So for the 280 SE 3.5 cab, 18, 1,232 built for the world, and 800 and some odd, I think 803 cars were built for the USA. So a very rare uh, car. Um, you don't come across them very often. And you usually come across them in two different conditions. Uh, one would be a restored car, uh, a freshly restored car, and then usually the rest are survivors. And I would say this is uh, neither of the two. It is much better than a survivor. It is in quite uh, fantastic condition and is, is beyond a driver quality car. Uh, it is an older restoration or repaint from years ago, but nonetheless, it is in fantastic condition today. This was delivered new. Uh, it's wearing its original colors. This was deli delivered new to the U.S. This was delivered new in Chicago by Lober Motors Mercedes-Benz, which still exists today in Illinois. It was delivered new to a Mr. J.E. Smith and from what we can account for, it stayed in his ownership from 1971 or 19, end of 1970, right up until uh, 2016, 2017, when it was purchased by uh, our client. And that's when it came, now is when it's come into our hands. Interestingly enough, the car for having such long ownership um, in Illinois, in its original state of delivery, it still retains this thick package of its original plastic pouch with its original owner's manuals. It has its original protecto, or not protecto plate, but data plate. It has its original pink data card where you will find the original color code 571, that is red metallic. Uh, that's also where you'll find the engine number, which we have confirmed it is indeed matching numbers engine. Uh, and the rest of the information on that, uh, including some of the options of the car, that is retained still. It still has its original maintenance book or owner's manual slash maintenance book. And interestingly enough, it has all of its routine. This is a beautiful thing to see. It still has all of its stamps and signatures and entries by Lober Motors over all the years from 1971 at 675 miles to the last entry by Lober Motors in 1994 at its 90,000 mile uh, inspection and service. Uh, and today it shows 97,757 miles. So very cool to see that history and to see that service history retained in its original book. It still has its original antenna keys. It still has its original Becker radio um, instruction manual and warranty cards. Uh, it's absolutely fantastic to see these cars still retaining all this uh, documentation that is not typical and very hard to find. Usually you're out searching for these kind of materials on the internet and purchasing them separately when you're trying to put together a complete car. So 
fantastic that it has them and fantastic that they're all the originals or believed to be all the originals for the car. Certainly original for the service book with all of its entries. As mentioned earlier, uh, the car is in fantastic condition today. It obviously has been repainted in uh, not so distant past, uh, not repainted by our client. So assumingly that was done by the original owner later on in its life uh, in Chicago. Um, but when you get to the age of a car like this, uh, usually you're gonna come across a lot of key problems that get uh, set aside and earmarked for later servicing or fixing. Um, this car, not the case. It starts and runs beautifully. It drives fantastic and we have a driving video that you can view uh, with me taking the car out for a drive. Um, it shifts beautifully um, and importantly, this car was optioned with the floor shift automatic uh, also with the bare air conditioning system that is still intact and still operates, albeit not blowing cold currently, but the fans still operate, vents, all the rest. Uh, it does have its original Becker radio, AM, FM radio, uh, power antenna, which still works. Um, the clock still functions. The, all the gauges, all the headlights, the horn, all the windows, everything. Everything is complete and working as it should, which is uh, just phenomenal on a car that is of this age and that hasn't gone through a recent restoration. Um, speaking about the interior, uh, again, really impressive. We've done nothing to the interior. We haven't had to repair any of the leather. We haven't colored or painted any of the leather. Uh, and that goes for front seats, door panels, rear seat, all in fantastic condition. The uh, sun visors, um, not droopy at all. The leather and the sun visors and the padding inside of which uh, are both very much intact and integral or have kept their integrity. Um, the power windows, as I said, uh, has beautiful red and black cocoa mats. Um, the functioning of the seats, both for folding forward, uh, there's no issues in that. And then the soft top, which we'll put up at the end of this, uh, the soft top is in great condition as well. Uh, same goes for the leather rear tonneau cover here surrounding the rear of the car, which we'll show you as well. Uh, I'd say the overall condition is excellent of the car. When you're inside and you're looking at that zebra wood finished interior, um, generally you're gonna see a lot of faded Wood and cracked wood is not the case here. It does look like the dashboard wood trim has been refinished at some point, but the rest of the wood throughout the interior is finished uh, or is still finished very, very well. The dash cap is in great condition. Um, the cluster surrounds great condition as well. You'll notice that there is a little bit of cracking right around the top of both the speedometer and the tuckometer, both of which are still functioning and operating as they should be. The carpets throughout the interior are in great condition. Uh, black carpets, front and back, all in great condition. Same with the center console and the leather that surrounds and wraps around that. The condition of the entire car is just very, very impressive. Same with when we get into the engine bay, uh, very clean, not a lot of, or very little corrosion, I should say. And as I already said, car runs and starts, drives really, really well. Coming around uh, and into the trunk, all very clean and tidy. Uh, these cars were known for having some corrosion or rust issues. This one is looking quite tidy. I will note that in the water or the rain gutters, uh, right at the top of the trunk, which is a typical spot, there is some old corrosion. It looks quite dry and taken care of now, but there is uh, a corrosion point here with a small perforation right at the top of the trunk drip rail and evidence of the same on this side. Fairly minor as far as uh, deterioration, but nonetheless, I want to point that out and show you that that's there. 
I would imagine uh, the future life of this car is sunny days and indoor storage. So not a massive concern to take care of, but if this is a car that one wanted to do a full restoration on, that would be taken care of during that time. Uh, we do have our full size spare here, uh, jack and tire iron. To speak about the exterior condition of the car, uh, the paint and all the bright work is in very, very good condition. The, I guess best to describe the level of paint is, uh, I'd give it probably a, a seven, seven or an eight out of 10. Good panel fitment along the hood on both sides. Uh, the texture or the uh, smoothness of the paint is very good, whether that means that whenever it was repainted, it got a very good wet sand across the whole car, but paint is quite smooth, very high gloss, uh, extremely great presentation in person and to the eye. Uh, even as you get up close to it. We did do a three-stage polish in preparation for this sale uh, and it benefits from that. As far as paint imperfections, uh, not a whole lot. There's maybe a little bit here around the bottom of the chrome trim on the window. Uh, there's the odd spot. It's hard to find it on the hood here. There's a little spot right over here. As far as chipping and peppering, uh, across the front of the car. It really doesn't have much at all to speak about. Looks like there's a little spot here where maybe the hood has chafed the uh, in and around the headlight here. Uh, but the rest, headlights, the bright work, the acrylics, um, same thing uh, for the running lights here or the signal lights, uh, all in which are in great shape. They're not like new and they're not restored pieces but they're still in very, very good condition and present very nicely. Uh, the bright work around, uh, or the bumpers, the chrome, uh, around the front is in very good condition. Same with the rubber strips on the, the two uh, left and right sides. Uh, your emblem and your headlight bezels, all in really, really good condition. Same with the air vent on the top of the hood, the bottom of the windshield. The chrome around the windshield and around the windows and doors um, they have some, not corrosion, they have um, some patina to them with um, just micro pitting and um, slight scratching. Uh, that's only when you get up really close to it and you'll probably be able to see that in photos, but um, same goes for along the doors here uh, and then around the rest of the windshield. The belt light trim is in really good shape, as are the hubcaps. Uh, and then that same theme continues on here to the rear of the car. Um, by no means do they present as new, but they present very, very well. Um, so that goes to both uh, taillights and acrylics on the taillights, uh, the trim around the trunk, uh, emblems, bumper, rubber on the bumper, all present very nicely indeed. Belt line trim along the passenger side, same thing. Very good condition. Um, the odd mark. So it's by no means perfect, but in quite good condition indeed, which is really the repeating theme across the entire car. Everything is in very well-preserved condition and I would venture to say all this chrome and bright work and trim, this is all the original. It has not been replaced or redone. I think that is a fairly good guess based on the service history and the fact that it stayed in single ownership for so many years. So with that said, we've spoken about the interior and we've walked around the exterior. I'm gonna pop the hood and then uh, we'll just kind of show you around the engine bay and talk about that. So as we get under the hood, I think this is probably another place where you look to see if things sync up from what you're seeing on the exterior of the car, the interior of the car, uh, what we've talked about already, the condition of the wood. This is where you're gonna see if everything syncs up or does not. And I would say absolutely it does. Of course, you see the um, 
red metallic, the original color of red metallic through the firewall and inner fenders. Uh, that all matches up. <clears throat> the condition of both, of all the metals under the hood. So whether that is um, the aluminum valve covers or the uh, intake or the tanks for the radiator, hoses, fittings, uh, the plastics and the reservoirs for the brakes or the brake booster. Um, reservoir for windshield washer fluid, all of which are in really, really good condition. Uh, you don't see any corrosion, uh, no obvious breaking down of materials. This soft padding and heat shield um, on the firewall usually is really heavily deteriorated or has been eaten away by mice um, on some of these old cars and this one. Uh, looks very very good and completely intact which is really impressive overall i would say the engine compartment is extremely tidy and it looks really really good uh, for a car of this age and most of this is going to be original so that's just very very impressive so just before we wrap things up here and i go over the cliff notes of this car i think what we'll do is we're going to remove this uh, leather tonneau cover and we're going to put the soft top up so we can get some video of the condition of that soft top and so you can see what it looks like on the car and then we'll wrap things up so we just put up the soft top the mechanism worked really really well the top itself is in great condition uh, the rear window maybe not um, the rear window is still quite clear and it hasn't hasn't yellowed um, the acrylic in the window is in really good condition. There's no big creases in it. Uh, there's no cracking in it. There's no punctures in it. Uh, the stitching all the way around the rear window is in good shape. Uh, the chrome trim across the back is in good shape. Uh, the entire top actually is in really nice nick. Uh, there's a small uh, tear in the edge of it on the rear corner here. Uh, that we will likely have that stitched up. Uh, the, as I said, the mechanism works really well. Uh, really cool to see that the car still has its uh, little leather pouch that holds the two tools or the two wrenches that insert into the front of the roof that lock it down. So everything on this car is, is just very impressive to see the care and attention to keeping all of the small details, keeping everything working and in great condition. It's just, you just don't find, it's hard to find cars that have been this well kept for this period of time. Uh, the headliner on the interior of the roof, um, it is uh, kind of a gray off-white. I imagine that is the original as it looks slightly. That's definitely original. The dome light in the rear, though it's not coming on, is still intact. Um, the handles, all the rest on the top are in great condition. Uh, very impressive. So just sitting inside the car, I want to demonstrate some of the things that are, or everything that's working. Um, so we'll start with, I've got the key on, uh, the bare air conditioning system. Um, turning it on, you can hear a relay click on in the front. fans all blowing and you can hear them turning down with the rheostat until completely off that is super cool to me uh, the radio and antennas going up on the other side great song Canadian Brian Adams It's only love. Uh, very cool that that works. I was tuning in some different stations earlier. Uh, I've been watching the clock move, so being it's not at the correct time right now, but the clock does function and you can hear it ticking away. Um, what else? Headlights. So turning the headlights on, we've tried all the signal lights, four way flashers, and the high beams the signal lights, 
all of which works, which is very, very cool. The backlighting on the gauges is functioning both on the center stack of gauges and on the uh, tachometer and the speedometer. You can see it in the odometer and the tripometer, which is pretty cool. Um, what else have I got to show you? Uh, the windows, though I won't roll them up all the way. There's your rears, nice and slow. And then of course, Passenger motor is a little slower, but nonetheless works. Um, quarter windows. And that kind of, oh, um, the defrost fan. You can probably hear it blasting away. And then as I talked about earlier, all of the wood paneling and everything on the interior is in just really, really great condition. So I just wanted to demonstrate that stuff. I'll probably show that in the driving video as well, but I just wanted to insert that here as you're watching this video. I'm sure you're curious about it. Actually, and I'll just give it a quick start as well. That's a cold start. I haven't started since we moved into this position two hours ago, so or dead cold on the gauges here. And there was no throttle input on that start. Back to the rest of the video. So as we wrap things up here, I just wanna go over some key things on this car specifically. So. The 111 or W111 chassis, this is the 280 SE 3.5 cab. They built 1,232 for the world. I believe 803 of those came to the United States in just the 70 and 71 model years. So this is one of 803 cars that came to North America. Uh, this is in its original color combination, retaining its what looks to be its original wood or zebra wood dash. This is red metallic that is shown on the data card that comes here with all the original books, manuals, data card, data plate, all the rest. Um, does seemingly be, it is its original interior. Uh, it seems to be its original uh, soft top. Uh, a lot of this chrome I believe to be original. Just a very impressive car as far as condition. So it was delivered new at Loader Motors in Illinois, Chicago, Illinois. Uh, and that is represented in all of the service stamps in this original service and owner's man or service manual. Uh, we have documented that and we have that in our sales listing. It shows all the services right up until 1994, I believe is the last entry at the 90,000 mile increment. And then after that, uh, I believe it's in 2016, 2017 when the car was sold to its second owner, uh, a client of ours, and then the car came north to Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. So very original, a lot of service history, very good condition, low production, um, and in its original colors. On top of that, the car was spec spec new with the floor mounted automatic transmission. Uh, that is a key thing to find when you're looking for these cars. Uh, it does have its original Becker radio, AM FM radio, power antenna, all of which is working. And it does have the bare air conditioning system that still is functioning and blowing. Not blowing cold, mind you, but it is still functioning and blowing. So a very impressive car. We're selling this car in the United States in our Blaine Washington warehouse. We have titled it in Washington state and we are selling it no reserve to the highest bidder. Good luck. Please reach out to us if you can, silverarrowcars.com or however you want to find us on the internet. I'm Joel, and uh, we look forward to speaking to the new owner.